Okay, so here we are with the last episode of Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works. So, yeah, I guess it kind of did perfectly make it up to where, yeah, this would just be one episode. Yeah, I was going to try and make it three, but yeah, that was going to be a lot. But yeah, we just got this perfect one last episode since they had the extra. But like how I pretty much was thinking, yeah, everything was going to get all finished up the last episode with Gilgamesh versus Shiro and then after that showing like you know what their life is after all of that and seeing like yeah what's to come next if there anything yeah I think Heaven's Feel is just the same story just you know well no the same story just different way how it goes about you know but yeah, before I finish this, I know you guys saw that poll I made, and yeah, I gotta pull it up right here, so apparently you guys want me to look at Fate Apocrypha, if I'm saying that right, so yeah, I'll be looking at those next, and I can see, yeah, not many, not too many of you guys wanted me to just stick with the Magecraft and lore videos, because yeah, that's what I was gonna do, because I didn't know since, yeah, Heaven's Feel, I'm not going to do that since it's like two hours long, and I'd rather just enjoy that myself, you know, and yeah, to replace that, I was just like, you know, do you guys want me to still look at some anime? Because I know it might not be the main storyline, but at least still some type of fate anime in, you know, for the replacement of that. And then after that, yeah, I'll still do like the Magecraft and lore videos, but yeah, let's just see what happens here. I hope you guys will enjoy this. Make sure you like, subscribe. And yeah, just get this reaction started. Okay, so we starting off in uh Reality Marble. Oh, so when they went against each other, okay. Yep. Shido versus Shido. And he remembers it. Yeah, that's something you really can't forget. Especially Gilgamesh. That was. Yeah. You beating a servant technically by himself. Because, yeah, he did need that extra mana. But, yeah, the projection... Yeah, definitely going to be a lot better now and improved. It's been... It's been two years. Okay. Oh, he's living in... Wait, where is he? In a different area now. Oh, no, they didn't. They're in a whole other place. Mineralogy. Yeah, they're definitely graduated by now, so. Okay. I'm pretty sure they're together now, at least at this point. Okay, but yeah, I see them. Yeah. She definitely changed up. Yeah, that hair looking a little bit more mature. Yeah, a little older. Oh, the clock tower. Bet. I'm not against this at all. Yeah, because I think I did see it in the background. But I'm like, nah, that probably isn't it. No, it is the clock tower. Yeah, practicing their magic. Well, yeah, now I get to see yeah what the inside of it really looks like. And yeah, I already know about it, so... Yeah, and at least what they do here. But mostly like, yeah, regular school stuff, you know, learning about this or that, then practicing. The self-defense. Okay. 
Yeah, let's see what Ren has, or how she's improved over the years. I'm pretty sure they definitely kept up the training. Okay. Oh, and they can use, yeah. Magic Circus here. Okay, dang. Oh, did the souffle, okay. Yep. Miss Gorilla. And she's just enjoying this. Okay. I guess she lost. The Majors Association. And we get to see that as well. Oh, the color of his soul is evaluated and recorded. Okay. Oh, and that's what the... Yeah, what he got. He had a letter. Oh, wait. This is... Sa or Artoria's... Okay, I was, I was really thinking, like, wait, a certain king's... And then they didn't get to have a proper goodbye... I'm like, yo, oh, yep, I know exactly who that is. Yep, yeah, because she disappeared before she could see him for that last time. So, yeah, that's where, okay, where she was buried or where her grave is. It was it Glaston, Glastonbury, Barry? Oh, Kuzuki, yeah. Yeah, he's pretty much gone. Got taken out. Yeah. Quite some time. Yeah, okay. But, I mean, I can't say he was all that bad, though. I mean, yeah, never had any wish. Just going with the flow, really. And yeah, to get taken out so easily like that. But I mean, yeah, it really could have been different if he was on their side and helped out Shido and Ren. But, you know, he had Caster as a servant, so... Of course he wouldn't help out there. And this is how it came with her. Yeah, just be her pupil. And then after that, I'm pretty sure they gave him a letter of recommendation or whatever. Saying, yeah, he can move up. You know, it doesn't have to be a pupil. And he can really work under the Mages Association. But yeah, of course, gonna follow her. No, it seems... Pretty good though. Yeah, everything past the grill. Two years past the grill. Yeah, everything seems all fine. Yep. Clock tower. Oh, that means she'll be thrown out in three years? Okay. And he turned down... Uh, well, yeah, he's not going to be joining the clock tower. Can't change his past. Just keep on going down. Oh, just as he said. Meet the same fate. Hmm. Yeah, even if he's completely different right now, like he graduated and all, he could still pretty much get turned into that, what, guardian as well. Turn out just like Archer. Yeah, 
Okay, and that's it for Unlimited Blade Works. Okay, just seeing if there's oh, what, anything extra. Oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, a boy once said, I don't want to watch people die. People can be saved. Could it be possible to save every person that's suffering? What the boy was trying to cut down was himself. He wielded his sword for what he came to believe in. There's no longer a path where his battle ends and he turns back. However, he did get his answer. He has regrets. And he doesn't know how many times he has wished to do it all over. His fate is set in stone and Emiya will probably go on cursing it. But even still, he was not wrong. Okay. Yeah, it just continues on with this journey. Or no, oh. No, that was the actual Shiro, I think. Yeah. I'm, wait, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. Without the yeah, white hair and then the yeah, dark skin. Unless that's like a past version before he turns into archer yeah whatever that is yeah if you guys cut in the comments i guess yeah anything like that i'll just be like yeah let me just see what you guys say in the comments but yeah that's it so i never thought i'd be able to see the clock tower but yeah it does make sense like yeah, we do got to know at least something about the mages and, yeah, where most of them reside at or at least where most of them would go to for school. Because, yeah, there literally is schools for just mages, not for, you know, where Shido and Ren went to just a regular school where nobody knows about magic, mana, mages. Like, yeah, you got places like this and um, Waver, too. You know, he had, like, a school he went to, and, yeah, and that was mostly about mages, so, or actually, no, I think that was the clock tower, though. Yeah, I don't, I don't actually know where the location was, but I'm pretty sure, if I can remember correctly, Otaku, I think he did say, like, yeah, Waver was at the clock tower, and if not, then... Yeah, he was at least somewhere. But yeah, good to see, yeah, Sabres, you know, like, yeah, Grave, like, yeah, where it's at. Yep, so right there in Britain. Okay. Yeah, Shin Shinji, yeah, he, he knows uh, what he has to do now. He's been through a lot. Yeah, basically just don't take, it, take any part of, um any type of war or anything that just has to do with mages like because yeah me it's like now seeing this grail war for the third time it's like it's going to happen regardless every what four to five years or no ten years but it's like i would even get involved because you get involved then certain things happen to where servants start, you know, basically teaming up. Other masters start, start teaming up, you know, and you just don't know what could happen, you know. And, yeah, you got servants like Caster that's literally just running everything, you know. And, yeah, that could just really mess things up. But, and then the biggest thing of all, just the grail itself, like, I feel like every time it's going to get summoned, it's going to be really spitting out all those curses and just making more. Like, everyone's wishes are just going to keep on going inside of it, giving it more, like, fuel or whatever, and keep on turning it into curses. 
But yeah, I'd give it a ten out of ten. Notice Fate Say Not Yeah, animation definitely up there. I don't know. Yeah, it's more like unlimited budget works than some Blade works, but. Yeah, definitely a 10 out of 10. I definitely like the story and all. Like, yeah, I got to see definitely a lot more. I could I could have never guessed that Archer was Shido because, you know, they just don't look the same at all. And not even because of the skin color or the hair color. It's just there's nothing similar about them at all except for the projection magic, which I didn't even know myself either. You know, I didn't know... What he was doing was literally projections, you know. So, now that I know, it's like, yeah, now I can easily tell, yeah, they're the same person. And, well, actually, last episode, yeah, they finally kind of drew it in a way to where you could actually see an older Shido in him. You know, compared to just seeing, you know, that regular archer that you would usually see. But... Yeah, I definitely like this. Yeah, the story mainly on the, I guess you could say, yeah, on Shido. Mainly on him compared to him and, like, some other people. But basically him and his story of how basically, yeah, basically he kept on going down this path with the hero of justice. And turns out it really didn't work out well for him, you know? Like, yeah, he's a guardian. Now he finally has a job he wants. You know, what he wants to be doing. But, yeah, just constantly being used and getting tiring over time. Yeah, it's like, yeah, you still want to, you know, have that same ideal and be that same hero of justice. But it's just not what he'd expected, you know. But, yeah, a lot of people got taken out earlier than expected. Ryder, I I'd hoped. I would be able to see more of her, but I guess I'll have to wait until Heaven's Feel now because, I mean, she was here for, like, two episodes, really. So, yeah, and same thing with Ia and Berserker. Yeah, only here for a couple. So, yeah, and Kide, too. I mean, I'm surprised. I mean, yeah, I guess he got what he deserved, but, yeah, he got killed so easily. I guess you could say... Yeah, got a little too overconfident and let his guard down. Yeah, it's just surprising how he got killed, you know, that's all. Because I know he definitely is smart enough, definitely strong enough to at least do some things and at least have his own plan. But I feel like the problem this time was Caster. You know, she was running everything, so Kide probably wasn't able to do exactly what he wanted to. And... Yeah, everything just didn't go to plan. Like, I feel like if he still was alive, Gilgama still would have done, yeah, what he did to Shinji. Like, yeah, they both would have had him be the core, and then they both would have been a problem, you know? And actually, that would have made things worse because we would have had to go against Assassin, Gilgamesh, Kide, and having to deal with the Grail as well, so... Yeah, just adding that extra threat onto what we already have. But, yeah, I know it's been kind of long. I'm going to try and keep it a little short. I I feel like I've seen him before, this guy right here. But, yeah, yeah, I just don't know the name. Like, yeah, when I be looking at the Magecraft videos, yeah, I see the names. And if they're easy to remember, I just... Uh, easily remembered them like certain characters that I see a lot you know in those videos but someone like this uh, I can't really tell because I re I kind of remember the face from somewhere but I don't know if it's, it was exactly him though but we are in the clock tower and yeah there were there definitely was a lot that was introduced there for me But, yeah, I can't really be, yeah, any more happy than what I am now for, yeah, the relationship, yeah, Shido and Ren. Because, yeah, it seems like, yeah, they really are together now. Just following each other, even if they're not, 
Yeah, I don't know if they're going to get married or anything. I mean, I, they pretty much might as well. Uh, unless they're going to wait a little bit longer. But yeah, might as well. Because they're going to be stuck together pretty much anyways. As I'm seeing it here. But yeah, really don't got much else. I did like this fade out right here. Yeah, I just sat here and just looked at you. Yeah, that was nice just fading out, you know, until fully just went black. And then after that, just got the credits. So, yeah, like I said, I don't know if it's going to be next Wednesday or the Wednesday after. Or if I'm going to change it up in general because... I might change fate videos or the um, anime in general to like Tuesday, maybe, or I just might keep it Wednesday. But yeah, Apocrypha, either next week or the week after, depending on when I feel like looking at it. But yeah, I'm going to definitely try and like binge, well, not binge, but really look at that heavens feel, maybe even today, really, so I can, yeah, get that other part of the story. And I know there's like, OVAs and stuff. Yeah, I really don't look at OVAs unless I need to, but yeah, I think there's an OVA for Unlimited Blade Works and actually the original Fate Stay Night that I still haven't looked at. Yeah, I kind of mainly focused on this and really didn't look at the OVAs, but yeah, besides all that though, yeah, 10 out of 10. I mean, I don't know what else to say. This is exactly what I wanted, even if certain characters got killed off earlier on some things didn't go the way that i expected them to but literally in the name unlimited blade works it was mainly just about that and i liked how they really kept that story and like yeah really started hinting later on like oh wait you know have you thinking are they the same person you know because they're saying the same um trace on you know they got the projection magic and yeah, you really just get to see more. And I I like, even though Archer really, um, yeah, was doing a little too much at the beginning. But, yeah, I still like how they got to at least show him more. And Lancer, too. Lancer, as well, I got to see him more. Um, who else? Well, yeah, that really was about it. I did get Ia's backstory a little bit on how she, you know, got Berserker. The Saber. To me, I feel like Saber, she did have her main fights, but I feel like she didn't have too many, like, main fights, really. Like, I do know... Now, because she didn't really go against Ar uh, Archer, then she had, in the very beginning, Lancer. Yeah, you have that. But when I think about it, it was really Gilgamesh that replaced those fights or something like Ryder. You know, she got killed earlier on. And, yeah, Saber was held captive. For like yeah that during like that half part yeah when caster's plan or yeah caster's plan really started yeah getting better and better for her like going on going her way so yeah the only major ones i would say is her going against like assassin i guess and yeah pretty much about it like yeah she did fight though yeah she did have her little moments but i feel like what i'm trying to say is it wasn't like um, the original Fate Stay Night where she, yeah, her and Shido were like the main ones, you know, the main, the story was really focusing on them the most that whole time. So Saber really had the spotlight most of the time during then. And even Fate Zero as well had her moments. But this time around, I feel like the, probably her best moments was like against Assassin, I guess. Um obviously Excalibur and yeah just other little times where she might have done this or that but yeah not as many moments like yeah how I've seen before but yeah I'm gonna just end that off here yeah 
I know I said I was going to make it short. Oh, man. I think i probably been talking for like 10 minutes now. Yeah. But other than that, though, hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you like, subscribe again. And y'all see you guys in Fate Apocrypha.